It's almost blinged out, bless him. Yo, it's Pillars of Strength. It's set three of the One Piece card game, also known as, commonly known as Pillars of Strength. And we might be able to find God Usopp in here. I haven't found the manga art. I'm searching for it. I feel like if I actually put some summoning energy into it, maybe we might find it. I don't know like what I've pulled from this case so far, but there's only been one Altar Leader box. So I'd say there's a pretty solid chance this is an Altar Leader in here. I do need one more cracker. If I can get one more cracker, alt art, then I can do my category deck profile. It's almost blinged out, bless them. And then we can sh we can just, you know, show off the deck. I've been having a lot of fun playing Katakuri. I don't know, like, all right, I'll be real about where I'm at with this game right now. I think this game is insanely balanced. It's insanely well designed. I think the, the, the game is inherently balanced in the way that it's designed. That's a better way to say it. I think the Dawn system is very balanced. I think that, that you can only have five characters makes it balanced. I think there's a lot of things in this game that just say balance, but yellow. I think yellow's a little bit tilted. There's a lot of, ooh, Zeph. Look at that man, looking shiny. I think that's our second Zeph. Um, I don't know why yellow cards are so good. It's really, okay, my main thing is the yellow counter. There's that two cost yellow counter that's in this set. Why is that card five? Like every other color has a counter and it costs two and it gives you four, right? Every color has one of those. But yellow just says five. For what reason? If there's a good reason for it, I would love to hear it. If you guys think there's a reason, maybe it's because yellow doesn't have like as much removal, I guess, or something, I don't know. But it's still like, it seems a little bit tilted to me. It seems like a little bit more than it, it more than necessary, right? I think that's more the, specifically what it is. And like the yellow big mom 10 cost to like regenerate a life, like you basically have to put a yellow player in a position where they can't play that card. And if they do, and they play them a couple turns in a row, like you're not coming back from that. You're toast. It's toasted. It's insane. I have resolved four big bombs in a game before. And it feels like really gross. Like it feels like I'm doing something that's messed up to the person I'm playing with. Cause you know, you form a relationship with the person you're playing cards with. You're having fun. You're interacting with each other through little rectangular pieces of cardboard. There's our Usopp. Not the god. Not what we're looking for, but that's fine. And, you know, while you're having this inter emotional interaction and exchange with your, uh, with your opponent, meanwhile, you're doing this stuff where you're just, like, playing this card that you put one of their life in the trash, and then you get a life? Like, that feels rude. You know, it feels just rude. And like, that, I don't think there's any other color that has a card that's that strong. Like, yes, you can't always play it. I admit that. But I just want to say, yellow feels like a little bit tilted right now. I think Law is a hard matchup for it. I did have a, I played in my locals last week and somebody was playing Law and Law was like, Law was uphill for sure. I feel like you really have to work for that matchup, but there's things you can do to, to kind of trick a law player into thinking that they're set up and then making it so that they're not set up. And then you just get in there and yellow like really gets in there. You know, you have you have a rush card, you have to be at less life. So it's a cool stipulation at least, but there's just so much gas. And like, once you start stacking big moms, like it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter how many life you have. I guess Nami like can mill herself out. Ooh, Peros Pedro Pedorin. I did need his brother, actually. Charlotte Cracker, but you know, I'll take the Pedorin. Yeah, I just, I, you know, I think set four brings a little bit more balance back to it, but um, I think we really need to go to a best of three format and top cut, at least, at least, at least. So like Swiss can be best of, Swiss can remain best of one, that's fine, but there's gotta be a top cut best of three with, with sideboarding, sideboarding, that's the, that's the big thing. That'll make this game more competitive. Anyway, I'm a dentist. That was the weekly strip, I hope y'all enjoyed it, and I'll see y'all. Oh, I can't end without a dental tooth tip. I almost keep doing this. Um, your enamel is a crystal called hydroxyapatite, which means your teeth are made out of crystals, which means you have a skull full of gems that you communicate all of your emotions with and eat with and breathe with. So take care of them because it's how you reflect yourself into the world. I'll see y'all in the next one.
Alright, this might this might mess up my flow of Bonnie's, but I feel like if I make this a who's who, then it just means that I am really master of this game. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> two more bodies, two more bodies are coming. You'll see them for sure.